Good morning. Good morning. It's morning devos with Jen and Michelle. I know you're like two days in a row. Where are the cats? I know. <laughs> you you're like, where are the cats? Just so you know. Midnight's over here. Caramel's right there. I just touched Ivy and Shady the dog is also with us this morning. We have the whole menagerie. She's like, I heard my name. Attendance has been taken. Attendance has been <laughs> taken. So good morning. Good morning. We're so glad that you're here. Good morning, Greg. It's going to be a great day. Yes, as y'all are coming in. I'm not That's sure if it's cool. going to rain or or wind this today. Yep. Good morning, Tanya. That's so fun. Good morning, Rob. Oh, you got a... Hey. Hi. Oh, Elizabeth Coleman's watching. Yeah. Hi, Elizabeth. That's so fun. Is... Don't you get distracted when you're doing this? <laughs> Sometimes. Good morning, Louise. Oh, I don't know, Louise. Uh, Hi. Yeah. Do I? Um, she would be Fletcher Princeps' aunt. <gasps> Hi, Fletcher Princeps aunt. <laughs> Louise, so I'm sure you've had many titles in your life, in, including, you know, Tanya's sister. I know him. You know, oh, good. That's my uh, good morning, Carolyn. Good morning, Doreen. Good morning, Elaine. It's going to be a great day. Good morning, Donna. Donna. Yes, I've had meals with all of these people. You mm have? -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feed me. Except for Doreen. I haven't met Doreen yet, but everybody else. Uh, oh, <clears throat> what is Rob saying to us? Go see this. I know the sunrise was amazing this morning, and I purposely said I'm not going to paddle this morning because it was just a little too windy, and it was raining, and it was just a little too miserable for me. And then I saw the sunrise, you and did. I was like, oh, I missed the sunrise because uh, somebody posted it. Uh, yes, so good morning. Good morning, Daphne. It's going to be a great day. Yep. Paul and Sue, it's good to see you. So as you are all coming in, today is Hymn Wednesday, where we talk about a song that is especially meaningful to us, whether it is has been a long term all of my life, or like the song, I'm going to say the earworm, hmm. right? That just gets in there and just, why is this ruminating in my spirit right hmm. now? Yes. So <laughs> Velma is like, which kitty is that that's midnight the black one is midnight the black and white one is ivy and caramel is all carmy carl carl Marie. carl Marie. <laughs> who did a thumbs down oh. i think that was jay it could be <laughs> so this morning we uh, asked michelle if she had a song that she would like to share with us and she said the song oceans so yeah. tell me about it well it's not a hymn <laughs> It's not a hymn. It's not very ancient. Um, you won't find it in the Bible per se. Um, but oceans, you know what actually what has brought it to mind recently? So funny, American Idol. Really? Yeah. So I was watching highlights of American Idol and one of the top, no, one of the auditions was this song, Oceans. And Katy Perry is one of the judges, bawling, because this woman just did, this girl, she's a young girl, she did such a beautiful rendition of this song. So passionate, so heartfelt. She worshipped the Lord on live TV, essentially. Right. I think it's live. I don't know. No, not the auditions. No. <clears throat> but but um, millions of people are going to watch it. Absolutely gorgeous. And I could be telling the story wrong. Maybe it wasn't the audition. Maybe it was her first, um, her first performance. Um... But she just worshipped the Lord. And yes, millions of people saw that. It's on TikTok. It's on everything. Everyone loves her. She's just phenomenal. And I feel like she is just singing this song for the glory of God, which mm. I thought was really beautiful. So that kind of got it back in my mind. And then I have this really great opportunity at school every day to take my favorite student to the sensory room. And we play music and we dance and we bounce and we have a lot of fun. And so I've been playing it for her and she loves it. Mm. Just, just this little nonverbal awesome kid bouncing around. Um, yeah. And so as I've been listening to it on repeat every day at 10, 15, <laughs> um, I feel like God has been nudging me um, in the area of trust mm. and just asking me, if there's borders to what where I'm um, boxing in the trust that I give him. Am I holding out parts of my life that um, I don't think that he maybe cares about or can handle? Because 
I can do a better job, I think, sometimes. You're all you're all agreeing with Michelle. Thank you. <laughs> help me out here, guys. I'm totally yes. I'm yeah. like, keep talking, I I'm you're preaching yeah. you're preaching. So the the verse is or the chorus, I don't I'm not musical, so I don't know what, what these things are called. Um, spirit lead me where my trust is mm. without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. And so just that whole idea that um, I want the Spirit to lead me um, where my trust is without borders. Lead me past those places where I say, no, I've got it. It's okay. I don't actually want to give this to you because mm. um, that just seems a little bit too risky or too, yeah, too risky. Because what if you tell me to do something I don't want to do, right? Right. And we've shared with you before that we've got a situation in our life where, in our lives where, I wouldn't say we're in danger, but um, we just feel very uncomfortable with a, a circumstance, a situation that we're um, facing. And um, yeah, this group of people that we see often are just not, um, they're not... They remind me a lot of Nineveh <laughs> and they, to be totally judgmental, um, they're, they're not surrendered to the Lord. They are living very worldly lives and, um, and dangerous lives, mm -hmm. right? So there's like legitimate dangers there, I guess, but, um, I don't really want to go and share the gospel with them. I don't really want to invite them over for dinner. I don't really want to have them at the table with my children. Um, and that's kind of like the wise me who's got my trust all boarded up but you know I've got these parameters on what I'll give God and what I won't and then there's this other part of me that just loves the Lord so much and when I'm vulnerable with him and exposed and there's nothing held back he's like don't you trust me even in that that I could keep you, I could, could keep you safe or not right like I wouldn't be the first person to ever die for my faith or my testimony um, and so even in that, could I trust him? Like, mm. Heck no. Mm. Right? That's what I want to say. No way. There's no way. God would never ask me to be in that kind of situation. I'm a mom. I'm a wife. I'm a this. I'm a that. He would never ask me to step out and make such a foolish, um, decision. But then I look at scripture and he asks people to step out in worldly foolish ways over and over and over and over, right? Give up everything. Follow me. Okay, um, go to Nineveh, tell them to repent. Oh, I've got a work email. And uh, I kind of want to be like those people. I kind of want to be the people that, the person that says yes. Mm. I, as much as I don't really want to say it out loud, because then God will hear me. <laughs> right, that's different. <laughs> as opposed to hearing you in your yes. thoughts. Yes. So that's where I'm at this morning and that's what this song has been stirring up in my heart mm. yeah mm, that idea of you know where are the borders where are the where is the box that we have God in and what are in what's in those boxes okay I trust him with my family I trust him with my work I trust him with my marriage I trust him with my church what's on the outside of the box this morning my time oh <laughs> my time uh, who I will and will not extend grace to, mm -hmm. um, or look at, or look at, or even money, money can often be on the other side of the box. And mm -hmm. those, the idea of take me deeper than my faith could ever wander. What's interesting is, so this passage is actually taken from Matthew chapter. Let me just find it here. Matthew chapter 14, it's where Jesus is walking on the water. So what's interesting is so he's just fed these 5,000 people and he sends them off into the boat. And he goes and prays. So he sends them off into the boat. And so we know the story. We know that the storm is coming. We know that they're freaking out. And Jesus uh, goes walking past them. And Peter says, if it's you, Lord, tell me to come to you. And he says, it's me. And so Peter gets out and he starts walking towards Jesus. So for some reason, that is still inside of his box. Mm -hmm. That idea that mm -hmm. we're, we're on these waters and I can walk towards Jesus because he said so. But it was when the waves started getting his attention that all of a sudden his 
his faith in Christ was now that was outside of the box. Oh, this is a dangerous area. I can't like all of a sudden we start focusing on us and focusing on the situation around us mm-hmm. and focusing on the Lord. And it's like, I think that's where we, we struggle with getting outside of the box where things get, um, circumstances get a little crazy. Something happens that we didn't expect or we haven't experienced before. Um, or it rubs up against our spirit, the things that we want to do or the things we Mm -hmm. don't want to do. And so, um, the fact that Jesus called, like Peter said, if it's you tell me to come. And Jesus said, come. And he was able to do this amazing thing of walking on water. And so I guess when I'm thinking about that passage and thinking about that box, it is hard to get outside of the box because we haven't been there Mm. before. And so, yeah. like, what exactly is God going to do? Mm-hmm. That unknown. It's scary. But I really like the verse in the song where it talks about his sovereign hand will be our, my guide. Mm. Right? His sovereign hand. When my feet start to fail. So when I'm looking at my circumstances, when I'm looking at the all of the things that um, make this a horrible decision, worldly, um, according to worldly wisdom, and I start to lose hope or I start, my feet start to fail. His sovereign hand will be my guide. So just right. refocusing my eyes back to him, mm. to his sovereign hand. That's, that's how we stay above the waters, above those waves. Yeah. Romans uh, 5 says, And not only this, but we also exult in our tribulations, knowing that tribulations bring about perseverance and perseverance, mm-hmm. proven character and proven character hope Mm -hmm. and hope does not disappoint Mm -hmm. because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. And so I think we need to hold on to the fact that hope does not disappoint. If God is, if God is calling us to step out in the waters, if he's calling us to step outside the box, we've got to go back to the word of God and say, what is it that what do I need to hold on to? I often ask the Lord when he's asking me to step outside of the box, could you just woo me there? <laughs> like little by little, almost <laughs> like, um, like Hansel and Gretel, like one little, like pick up one little piece to get me to where <laughs> you want me to go. Right. Like that's often how we attract things like squirrels, right? We put down the little pieces and they pick them up. Right. Yeah. And we get them to go where we want them to go one little piece at a time. I've often said, Lord, I just need you to woo me mm-hmm. to that place because I know that's where you want me to go. That's not where I want to go. But could you just sort of entice me mm-hmm. with chocolate mm-hmm. or candy or, you know, just just one little, oh, you were there. Oh, you were there. Or did you just change my heart? Yeah. So it is, where are the boundaries of our faith this morning and where are we where do we know God is calling us to go, but we just don't feel comfortable going? Yeah. I know we're all in this together, right? You're all thinking about that box and what is in the box and what is outside the box and what do you need to trust the Lord with this morning? Um, the It says... Um, where feet may fail and fear surrounds me, mm-hmm. you've never failed and you won't start mm-hmm. now. So we want to encourage you today. Like the Lord is not going to fail you today. He hasn't failed you yet. So if he's calling you to step outside of your comfort zone, step outside of your box, uh, maybe share a part of your testimony with a coworker or a neighbor today or a family member. Maybe it's a family member um, that the Lord has been laying on your heart for the last few days. And you're like, I don't want to call. Just call or, or who knows? Maybe it's a, a business, um, an organization that God's asking you to support. And you're like, I don't know where that $50 is going to come from. Well, this is what I've learned. If God's called you to give the $50, then he's going to, he has more than $50. He wants to give you like, that's just what I've learned time and time again, is that when God says, call this person or pick up this person or give to this or do this or make a meal. then he is able to do immeasurably more, immeasurably more than I could ever imagine. So we want to encourage you to just step outside of that box today 
and trust the Lord. Oh, Would you pray for us? I'd love to. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, I pray for courage for each uh -huh. person listening to take a step and um, follow your sovereign hand and um, yeah, just to sit quietly with you and ask you to examine our hearts and those places that we think we can hide from you, even though God, you're, mm -hmm. you already know, and yet you're so patient with us. And so um, thank you for your patience and thank you for this song that is reminding us to trust you um, right now, <laughs> as patient as you are. Um, help us to trust you right now with those particular areas that we especially don't want to. Mm -hmm. um, Lord, so those people who we don't want to minister to, that money we don't want to give you, that commitment that we don't want to keep, Lord, uh, I pray that we would hold it all with open hands and mm -hmm. offer it to you as a sacrifice, um, that you would, yeah, give us what we need. You've already given us what we need to do those things. Um, mm -hmm. So open our eyes to see the ways that you've provided already, um, yeah, and the ways that you have... Um, yeah, over the past years of our lives following you, Lord, you've provided time and time again, which has increased our faith, but then also maybe just changed those borders a little bit to mm. other areas of our lives. Um, yeah, so Lord, help us in the ways that you know each of us need from you today. Um, yeah, and I, I thank you so much, Lord, that um, our faith will be made stronger in the presence of our savior and just thank you for this um singer abby and the way that she worshiped you on live tv um in front of all these different people um yeah and who knows who was encouraged in their spirits or hearing her up there on american idol um, so bless her too lord um thank you as we go into our day that we have an opportunity to be your light in our community mm -hmm. and i pray that we would not miss out on those opportunities because we're not trusting you or, um, yeah, we're just maybe looking at the circumstances and overwhelmed by fear and not focused on you. Lord, fix our eyes on you, the author and perfecter of our faith. And we give this day to you, Lord, as a sacrifice. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I hope you have been encouraged in your spirit today. I know I have been greatly encouraged in my spirit and just thinking about <laughs> maybe opening the box because maybe the box is even closed. <laughs> so there's no way things can come out. And uh, so that's just like, okay, what, where have I closed my box that God is asking you to do something and you've just closed the box and you're like, there's no way that's coming out. So as go back and listen to the prayer again, like just, Trust the Lord to help you do what he's already equipped you to do. And you very well might be pleasantly surprised or even shocked at what God will accomplish. So thank you for sharing with us this morning. I know I've been encouraged in my faith and I'm thinking about <laughs> the closed boxes. And so my dear friends, this is good news. Go for a walk today. And in so doing, you'll help your community experience Christ. Bye.